Hi Scorpio, it's me, it's Julia, here to do your love reading. I hope you're doing great and uh, sending you much love and light. Thank you so much for your love and support for me and the channel. It doesn't go unappreciated, you know that. Um, if you're new to the channel, Cross Watchers, you're welcome here. Um, you may want to subscribe and turn your notification bell to all so you'll benefit from all the videos that I do on a daily basis for Scorpio every single day. Um, want to give a shout out to Stephanie, Deja, Brandy, Deidre, Lauren, and Tammy for booking a live tarot card reading. You can too. All you got to say is New Earth to get your reading discounted. Okay, you can call up as much as you want. And if you are watching me in the USA or the UK, uh, you can, it's an introductory reading. It's a 15 minute reading at $1 a minute or one British pound a minute. Okay, it's just a little something for me. Um, what else? If you want a personal love reading with me, you can only get it through my website at www.heartpassiontarot.com. Uh, products and tarot card readings. Watch out for scammers on Instagram, Scorpio. I don't want you to get scammed, okay? Everything else you need is listed down below. Let's get started, Scorpio. I call upon the divine. I call upon the white light. I call upon your angels to come into... Oh, we already have a card. The Knight of Cups came out. Thank you. You got the lovers in the now. We've got the Eight of Pentacles in the hidden position. Okay, let's get the rest of these cards that popped out on the table. There you are, Scorpio. Okay. And then we're going to need two more. I feel you are somehow focusing on, you know, lost opportunities, maybe situations that didn't work out before. You need to know that you got two cups standing behind you. You do have somebody who truly does love you. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. One for the hopes and fears, please. One. I need one card. One card for the hopes and fears, please. So this is what you're fearing or what you're hoping for. One card for Scorpio in the hopes and fears. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. Love you, Scorpio. For Scorpio when it comes to love. Here we go. The Ace of Pentacles. So you're wanting something stable. You're wanting something serious. I think your person wants that too. One for the outcome, please, when it comes to love. Ooh, judgment. There's some kind of reconciliation going on here. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Very nice. All right. Let's see what's going on. So signs I'm seeing here are Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. We've got Gemini. We've got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We've got some Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We've got Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So, someone's coming towards you with unconditional love here. I feel you're kind of setting up healthy boundaries with this, right? You kind of want to take it slow. We have... Um, you, death, in the recent past. Why is death here in the recent past? Why is death here for Scorpio? I feel in the recent past, um, you may have had several options. Maybe um, you went passionately towards somebody for a reconciliation. Maybe this person was a fire sign or an air sign. 
Okay, but you saw something clearly about this person. Maybe somebody was approaching you too too quickly here and you felt like you needed to slow things down. Okay? I feel like you wanted this brand new um, or maybe they did this to you. Somebody here kind of slowed this down, I'm feeling. Um, they did want a new beginning with you, but I feel in the recent past this person needed to heal. In the now, I see love between the two of you. Let's see why this is here. The lovers for Scorpio. The lovers for Scorpio, why is it here? It feels like a very special connection, maybe like a twin flame soulmate thing. Yeah, I feel both of you are talking about having this new beginning together. It feels like a wish for the two of you. Maybe Scorpio, um, you may not be giving too much to this connection at first, or as much as you could. Maybe because you're being careful. Here you are, Scorpio. Or they're doing this with you. But Scorpio, I see that you're their wish fulfillment and they're yours here. One of you could be a little bit younger. I'm also feeling here that um, somebody may have apologized to the other one for leaving somebody feel, feeling left out in the cold because they've been waiting. For you, Scorpio. They hold a very close place uh, in their heart for you. I don't feel this person's a bad person at all. You know that too. I feel you've been watching them too. <laughs> they do make you happy. You make them happy. And I feel it's all about leaving the past behind so both of you can finally have justice, finally have the love that both of you deserve. In the hidden position, I see the Eight of Pentacles. Either you're working really hard or they're working very hard on something here. I feel you know who you want. You want this Empress. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? I feel both of you are very hard workers. You're responsible individuals, yeah. Queen of Pentacles. I see you in the future um, to heal this situation, to get it off the ground. I see you traveling with the chariot being here. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. So I feel you are wanting to put the work in. Let's see where this goes, right? There's manifesting going on here. Somebody here may be wanting a serious commitment or marriage. I think you both do. Let me see why this is here. Yeah, I mean, somebody has fought a lot of battles here, and now they're free to go. And they want a family. They want a brand new beginning. They want love here. Could be what you want, Scorpio, but I feel they want it too.
yes, somebody clearly sees a future with you. You could be dealing with somebody too who's very um, psychic and intuitive as well. So they see the Wheel of Fortune with you. They do see a future with you. So ease your mind about them. They do want the same things you want. The, um, in case you wanted to know. Um, there could be two children involved. Maybe a fire sign and an earth sign in the future. Maybe that's why you guys are overthinking this uh, reunion. And maybe you're waiting for your happiness or to give more to this connection because there's children involved. But I see a victory here. And I see an ending for all four of you. Pain, betrayal, lies, all that stuff. That's coming to an end. And there's a brand new beginning here with your emperor. Scorpio. It's all about leaving the past behind again and finding your happiness and cherishing this connection here. Okay? You guys may work on some kind of creative project together in the future. The Wheel of Fortune is here. I feel you both get your wish in the future. I don't need to clarify this anymore. The star is here. Now let's go to you. What is this? Why are you feeling like this? Why is the five of cups here? Because you've been heartbroken before. Yeah? But here I'm here to tell you you're going to have justice. And you will have your Ten of Pentacles, Scorpio. With your Queen of Pentacles. This person, like I said, works very hard. And they do love you. And whatever they are telling you, they are speaking their truth. You don't have to worry about this person not telling you the truth. The two of pentacles. I feel you guys are going to have a, a very open conversation. The two of pentacles. Yeah. I think your person may be deciding whether to, or this could be you, whether to be alone or to take a leap of faith. Mm. I feel this person here, Scorpio, you know, with the Nine of Swords, it doesn't have to be stress and anxiety. It could be out of excitement too, right? Maybe it's stressing you out a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> way too many cards. Why are you making them wait? Uh, okay. I see commitment. I see something serious here. Okay. I see something that brings a lot of healing. Like I said, someone is at crossroads, but I feel they may be leaving a situation behind to find their wish fulfillment with you. 
The Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? We have the Ten of Cups. We have the world. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We have the Ace of, I mean, the Queen of Swords, the Moon, and the Ace of Cups. So somebody wants to offer you something serious here. Somebody sees you as their happiness. That's a brand new chapter. Somebody may be really hiding how much emotions and feelings they have for you here. But they are manifesting. Maybe it's you doing this. Maybe because you're acting this way, you know, there is, somebody could be manifesting for the two of you to come together because there's distance between the two of you. For some of you, it's not for all of you. There could be a third party situation here getting in the way. It could be children. Also, somebody here may think you're not being honest or you're sneaking around or something like this. That's not for all of you either. And I feel this person comes rushing in to show you differently here, Scorpio. Okay? There is a soulmate tie here. I do see a reunion. I do see celebration. Somebody does want to offer their cup. They're just not quite sure if the other person's going to accept it or if they're going to like them or I don't know what. It's all this crazy stuff you're thinking. Okay, you're going, someone's going back and forth about reaching a decision here. Okay? But I do see a decision being made with this King of Swords. Now we have the King and the Queen of Swords. There'll be a lot of communication, a lot of forward movement. It's all about divine timing. I feel here some kind of truth is going to be spoken here. And somebody is really coming in to give this situation. And I feel for this emperor here, um, they're able to release whatever pain they've been holding on to. And they're going to take a leap of faith. Possibly even to get married. We have judgment here. So there is a reconciliation here. Is this judgment here? Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? The Ten of Pentacles. Maybe somebody was in the midst of having a reconciliation with their family and they've decided to walk away and have a brand new beginning. Justice is here for the King of Wands. I see healing and I see a brand new chapter. And I see stability being offered here. Pentacles here. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Ten of Wands. I don't know. Maybe somebody feels like they were giving way too much to a connection. Or maybe to another individual. Could have been a mother figure. Okay, but they're sneaking away of that. And they're coming in to offer love. Why is the Ten of Swords here? 
Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, somebody may be putting an end uh, to another situation here. That was their wish. And I feel somebody is coming towards this Queen of Pentacles. Very quickly. Tell me about the Knight of Swords for Scorpio. Could have been the mother of your children as well. So I feel you're headed towards uh, someone that, who lives at a distance from you. Yes, things will move very quickly. The Four of Wands is here. Yeah, and I see strength between the two of you. I see honesty, truth, clarity. Um, I'm also seeing it's all about divine timing. And when it comes to this union and working together here. So it, they're beautiful cards. I mean, I would go for it, Scorpio. I see you being really, really happy. Um, and if you're worried about this person having the same feelings as you, they absolutely do. And they are really looking forward to having a new start with you. Okay, I see the two of you being very, very happy, like two peas in a pod. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Sending you much love and many blessings, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.